hello guys uh, welcome to my new video of my channel so in this video i am going to tell you about keyboard shortcuts the most important keyboard shortcuts which every visualizers need to know so without wasting any time i am going into my video so let's start with the top order of the keyboard so i will go into the f tab so i have drawn an object here i have drawn a box here so if you will press f3 if you will press F3, you can see that the we can see the wireframe and it's interchanging between wireframe and the default shading. So that is F3 and if you will press F4, you can see that the lines, now you can see the white lines around this box. So if you will press F4, it will be disappeared. So it will be interchanging between disappearance of the lines of that object. So that is F4. Then if you press F9, if you will press F9, it is the shortcut for render. So there is another shortcut also for render, I will be telling you later. So that is F9. Then you go to F10. F10 is a render setup and I will be making a separate video uh, describing about the render setup late lately. So F10 is render setup, then I will go to F11, F11 is the max script shortcut for max script listener. So those who are working for advanced stuff and also who are into Python scripts and also they will, they, it may be useful for them. So that is F11, if you will press F12, F12 is very important, it's called move transform type. For example, if you want to move this object, I have drawn this box in millimeters, like 2000, 2000, 2000 millimeters. So if you want to move in any of the axis by one meter, let's say for X axis. So just press one meter and it will it'll be moving towards that value. So we can type the values in any of the directions like X, O, Y, or Z and for that we can use f12 and this is my very this is my very useful uh, shortcut so next go into the next line of the keyboard i'll start with q q is there is called this is called a marquee this is called the selection tool and you can see if you will uh, long press the tool you can see that there are one two three four five types of selection tools like I will show it manually what it is. So if you will press rectangle and when you drag the mouse around the object, you can see the rectangle selection is being formed here. And if you go to circle, you can see it's, the circle is forming. Circle is getting, you can select the object by a circle. And there is an another shapes like this is called the line. So if you will drag it and go around this object and close the selection you can select the object like that also so q is the shortcut for uh, changing the selection options so you can see here the objects uh, the options have been changing here so that is q next go into w so w is the shortcut for move and if i'll go to e e is the shortcut for rotate you can rotate and if i will plus if I will press W again, it will go to Move tool. If I will press C, it will go to Rotate. In any ways, you can rotate it. If I will press R, I can scale this object. So R is for Scale. W is for Move, E is for Rotate, and R is for Scale. Next, I will go to T. T is called Top View. So if I will press Top T, it will show T here. If I will press F, it will show the front of this box. If you will press L, it will go to the left view. You can see here the names have been changing, the viewports have been changing here. And if you will press P, you can see that it's going into the perspective. Okay, so next I'm going to press I. I is used for, I will show an example what is I used for. Suppose I press F and go to front view. So you are taking a line. So you are drawing it around here, okay? So you are, for example, you are creating a line and you are going outside of the viewport and you can't, you you are not able to see like how to draw it. So if you will press I, 
it will come into the middle of the point where you have been drawing and it will continue the lines again so if you are again going into outside the viewport you can either zoom in but it's not the it's not a good way to draw the line but if you will press i that is that is the best if you are going down also you can press i and go like that if you are going right again you can press i and go and stop so that is what i is used for that's also a very important shortcut then i'm going to tell about a and s so this is for s which is snap toggle and this is for a angle snap toggle so basically i will be doing another video for these two uh, shortcuts these two tools separately because there's a very useful tool so s is for snapping the object to one object to another object and a is to uh, angle snap there are many many things inside that tool but mainly we are uh, giving the rotation values for the like angle like if you will press 90 degree you can rotate an object into 90 degree and also i'll be explaining later in another video about these two a and s so just remember the shortcuts a and s next i'm going to z z means for example there is a box here so i just zoom in zoomed around and it's not visible so if if there is no another objects in the scene and if there is only that one object which is got zoomed out and you are not able to see just press z to see that object so it will be visible for example if there are uh, one object very far in the scene and if you will press z it will frame around those two objects actually so we can understand by pressing z the objects are only in that area of the viewport where we have pressed Z. Now, if I will delete that object and if I will press Z, it will show only that remaining object. So that is what Z is used for. Then we go into C. C means if you are, if you have created a camera, so I will just show you. I will just draw a standard camera here. I will just drag a camera here. So if you will press C, you can see here it's showing physical camera one. So once you have created a camera and after doing something, if you want to go into that camera, just press C and it will show the list of the cameras you, you want to select on. So that is C. Then you go to G. If you will press G, you can see that the grid is getting disappeared. So normally I don't prefer with grid at most of the times. So that is about G. Now you go to V. V is, if you will press V, it is showing the view actually, like which view you want to go front or back or... Normally I don't use this actually because by pressing the shortcuts F, P and T and left only, we can go into that, we can go into that views actually. So I don't use this V shortcut actually. Then if you go to, if you will press N, you can see a red band is getting formed that is that means it is it enables the animation mode uh, i'll show this just quickly what it is so once you have, so once you have uh, click this object you have press n and now you are going into this is the first frame of the animation timeline and you are going into the 50th frame you are go you are moving that object you are moving the object and now if you drag the the timeline you can see that we had created a box animation here from 1 to 50 range so that is about n next we will go to m if you will press m that is a shortcut for material editor so you can uh, just a second it's getting auto save i guess yeah so once you are press m it will show the material it's a shortcut for material editor so you can uh, select and apply the materials. I will be explaining later about this material editor also in separate video detail. Now I will go to the next section which is shortcuts for control, control and other alphabets. So I will go first control I. So what does control I mean? So for this one I will draw another object here. So you press the first object and you press control i 
you can see the other ob object is get got selected so that means it's got inverse selected so control i is the shortcut for inverse selection next i am telling control a so if you will press control a outside both all the objects are getting selected so it's for control all that is control a so all of the objects in the scene will get selected so that is control a and if you will press control s it's showing the uh, save as file the where you want to save the file that is control s and if you are pressing and if we had selected all the objects and if you press control d it gets deselected so if you want to deselect the objects you uh, after get after selected press control d for deselect and control s control z sorry not control s control z is for undoing what all skip uh, what all steps you have done for undo is uh, control z is used for undo and control c control c is used for creating the camera so like before i had told you uh, c like when we have created a camera if you press c you will see the cameras which you had created but in the perspective if you want to create a camera if you want to create a physical camera you press control c then the perspective will convert into control c so if you press c now you can see two cameras see i i created here by using short shortcuts so we'll delete the camera now so now we are going to the next section alt alt section so we'll go for alt w first so alt w is for maximizing the viewport so normally when we open the 3ds max we can see four viewports here so if you want to maximize any of the viewports you press alt w if you will press a viewport you can see a yellow border line is forming around that viewport if you go here see if i will click one by one you can see a yellow line is forming around it so once you click there and once you press alt w you can see that it's going it's maximizing that viewport so that is alt w is used for now alt e so alt so basically more of the alt shortcuts are used for all the tabs you are seeing at the top of the 3ds max software so uh, i don't use this this uh, shortcuts very much because you can directly go into the tab and you can select it there's no there's no need for, for i'll just show you quickly what are used so alt w is for no sorry not alt w alt e is for edit alt r is for rendering alt t is for tools alt a is for this is different one this is for align align object alt d is for graphic editors alt f is for file alt g alt g is for group alt c is for create alt v is for views alt b is for okay this is another one if this the viewport configuration which is alt b alt b is for viewport configuration you can customize the interface colors and you can change the background and all i will explain in this later in another video so that is alt b and alt m is for modify so you don't actually need this alt sections because you can already go here and you can click in this one so next i will go into the last section which is shift so if i will press shift q you can see the objects are getting rendered as i said earlier there is another render code, another render shortcut which is f9 so this is f9 so f9 and shift q are basically same only but i use shift q often because you may sometimes uh, not get the correct viewport while rendering while using the f9 tab so i suggest you to use uh, shift q only so that is shift q now shift t is for asset tracking i will be completely explaining about this asset tracking in another video so just remind this is for shift t shift t is for asset tracking then shift f so basically shift f is very important tool because the this viewport is not the exact size of the frame which you are using to render it so this is not the final output size so if you want to see the final output size if you press shift f there will be like yellow border forming around so that is the correct output of the render so just work according to this one 
now i will go to shift g so if you will press shift g all the objects will uh, get disappeared so that is shift g then shift c like you can see the camera is getting hidden here because when you are working in heavy files like you have created multiple cameras and that cameras will be really uh, annoying while working so you don't want to see the cameras while you are working so you just you can just use uh, you can use shift c and disable it then i will go to shift j so what shift j is so once you click an object you can see the corners are getting wrapped by a line like an edge corner like a corner lines are formed here so if you press shift j you can disable it so that's it about today's video uh, i hope everybody had liked this video and i will come with a new video with a new topic and if you are liking my videos just please like and subscribe my channel and please support me and give feedbacks and comments about how to improve and the other stuffs and all so let's see in the other video thank you